And recently, because of the pressures of the campaign, I've suffered symptoms of a reoccurrence of the same condition. I'm advised that to continue in the race could result in hospitalization again. I feel that it's not fair to my friends or for me to continue in the race when there's a possibility of not my not being able to make a vigorous fighting campaign. So I hereby give notice of my withdrawal. By withdrawing as a gubernatorial candidate at this early date, uh, my friends will be free to support other candidates if they so desire. I'm not withdrawing in favor of any other candidate but shall exercise my right as a citizen uh, to uh, be for the one that I feel is the best qualified. The bill should be a matter determined in Congress based upon the question of whether or not it is of absolute necessity to national defense to expand the facilities of Fort Sill and not to transfer those facilities to some other area. <laughs> I'm against it. They've sure got to convince me before I'd ever agree to it. Whether they should or shouldn't is certainly a moot question here. It's not that I want to dodge your question and barely ask you. It's just that I doubt that I'm at all qualified to make any decision on the question of the expansion of that uh, reservation. Uh, it's... Uh, a problem that uh, would certainly require considerable thought and uh, ought to be informed about before he expresses his own opinion. And I'll just admit that, that ignorance has got me, and it may have some of these other gentlemen up here. I don't know. The ship was from the outside a complete solid uh, piece of aluminum or highly polished steel. On a, upon entering the ship is entirely different. It is transparent. You would look up, see the sky, look down, see the grass below you, or see the entire countryside. How many people were in the machine? Uh, there were six people, four men and two ladies. Did they look like us? Uh, yes, they looked, uh, if they would see them on the street, you couldn't detect them unless you would uh, had seen them on the ship. Did they, did they tell you what they were doing here? Uh, <coughs> no, they did not. I asked them what they were doing here, what kind of a ship it was, and they said they couldn't tell me that at this time. Have you ever taken a polygraph, a lie detector test on your experience? No, I have not. Why, sir? Uh, I haven't refused. Uh, I did refuse the first night. Uh, after being under the lights for approximately 14 hours, I told them I would go the next morning and take a lie detector test, and they said it wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary? It wasn't necessary, no. Would you take one now? Yes, I would take one now if the officials of Kearney, Nebraska will take one with me. I, I feel that they have just as much to gain or to lose as I have. I understand that you were uh, taken to a mental hospital after this first incident in, in Nebraska. What happened in the mental hospital? Uh, yes, I was taken to the mental hospital. I was there uh, approximately two weeks. I passed, took all the tests. The hospital knew how to give a patient and I passed them all think should be done? Uh, I think that uh, the investigation should be put into the hands of the legislative branch of, of uh, government and that the full facts should be released to the American people as they become available. Uh, I believe that our military bodies mm -hmm. have great volumes of information and if we can get official photographs from Brazil taken by the Brazilian Navy or at least approved by the Brazilian Navy as being authentic and official, uh, certainly we have thousands uh, of photographs in American files, and I believe that this information all belongs to the American.
To all of us, uh, boat enthusiasts and water skiers, I think here in Oklahoma County, a lot of us are represented here tonight, are willing to pay for a license or daily permit to water ski anything within reason. And uh, I personally myself, as well as a lot of others, feel that if we do not have an adequate filtration system, that this extra money might be used uh, to increase our filtration system where it would make our water safe uh, to water ski on. Now, uh, on the weekends, if you're traveling like a lot of us do, we have, every weekend we go water skiing and we travel to Carl Blackwell and Lake Texoma and uh, different surrounding lakes that uh, approve water skiing. And uh, if you're on the roads, as a lot of people are, you'll see just about every other car has a boat behind it. And all those people are having to go and spend large sums of money to enjoy themselves that uh, I think we should be doing right here at home. You mentioned something about tourists avoid Oklahoma City. Uh, yes, that, that's a fact. I have talked, I've been on different lakes around the state, talked to people from out of state. Now, we have a lot of people that come here from out of state because uh, the state of Oklahoma has built all these reservoirs and parks, and I think they've done that mainly to attract uh, the tourists from out of state. And uh, those people, a lot of them, especially the ones that visit the lakes, they don't come to Oklahoma City because uh, there is no water skiing here.